our first layover is in Seoul, South Korea, and it's snowing outside. It's so pretty. After an over 24 hour commute with a layover in Seoul, we're finally in Bangkok now. Yes, first time here. I'm excited. morning today is my first full day in thailand i think we're gonna take a lap around the area just kind of familiarize myself a little bit more especially during the daytime maybe check out a temple um and get some breakfast just take a lap i don't think anyone in the hostel is really awake yet so that's okay we'll just wander on my own first and maybe come back to the hostel meet up with people and see if they are down to explore later in the morning So, slight change of plans while I was walking today. I bumped into a truck driver who was speaking to me, thought I was Thai, and he convinced me to hop on his truck truck and he'd take me around just doing all the tourist attractions. We already checked out the Tall Buddha temple, and then he convinced me that during Christmas time it's the best time to go suit shopping, so I ended up caving and buying two suits that'll be shipped to California. And I asked him where to get Tom Yum. He brought me to this one restaurant to be eating like a Thai local.
Mustang. Rehab. Mustang, mama. Yes. So my tuk-tuk driver just dropped me back off in Kaosan and thinking of back at it, did I get scammed today? I mean, it was very convenient to be driven all the way to these temples, but they're not as walkable as I had previously thought. I thought the river tour was like kind of a scam. I think we were just really unfortunate that we picked a really like not crowded day. There was nothing going on. It was just super dead. Uh, I also ended up paying for my tuk-tuk driver's spot on the bus, or on the boat, and he even agreed that it was like not worth it. We just had to wait so long to actually get into the river, um, but that's not on him. I also inadvertently also ended up buying suits, which I needed anyway, so hopefully those are of good quality. Um, yeah, but otherwise I only paid him like 70 baht for driving me for so long and he was waiting for me this whole time. So, I think that in itself was not too bad. I hope he gets commission for everything else that I paid for, for the boat tour and also the suits. Would I do it again? Probably not. I think it was low-key waste of time, but I'm glad I got to check out some cool temples. Many months later. So after being like a month in the dark, they finally sent the package information and I just received the package with my two suits. It like fits pretty well in my opinion. I've never really had suits that fit or like we're tailored to my size. And I think the quality is decent. I have no major complaints. I'm honestly just happy that I actually got a legit product. I was so sure I got scammed out of my money. The suits were never gonna come and they are just gonna run away. But I'm just happy I got something. It fits well and hopefully it lasts for a long time. Anyway, back to Thailand. <laughs> So I joined some people at the hostel to go get some dinner and we decided to go to this one really nice restaurant about 20-ish minutes away from the hostel and we had an awkward number five where the grabs like the Ubers they have here only sit four people so I volunteered to take a motorcycle and it was pretty chaotic in the best way possible. We were like weaving through traffic. I felt like I was gonna fall off at certain points. I would have recorded but maybe next time? Um, Definitely a must, I would say. A little sus that you don't get like a helmet or anything, but you just hold on for dear life and get there fast AF. <laughs> 